Hello, and Professor Morgan here showing you some more fun stuff, especially when it comes to MLA formatting and using Microsoft Word 365. Now, as opposed to the uh, Microsoft actual application that has this, so like the one that you download and just run as a separate program, uh, this one has all sorts of different options and it has different ways of accessing information. Um, as compared to uh, Microsoft Office 365. So if you go to Office 365 and you click on Word and then you click on blank document, you'll see right away we don't have nearly that same amount of things, which can make things confusing when it comes to doing MLA formatting. And so I'm going to show you uh, how to do MLA formatting. Now you can say, yes, there are templates out there. Um, however, a uh, template is just a tool. You're still responsible to do it correctly. Um, I can say, why is my car not working? I used a hammer on it and uh, it's still, you know, I used the tool. Yeah, but if you got to use it correctly, you have to understand why you're doing it. So I'm going to show you three specific things that are different between Microsoft 365 and using it the other way that will save your life when it comes to doing MLA formatting. Okay, so first thing we're going to do for MLA formatting is we're going to go to layout and go to margins and make sure that we are at normal where we're one inch all the way across. One inch all the way across. Fantastic. We'll click back to the home button, making sure that the next thing is the font. Font should be Times New Roman, size 12. Again, this is set up by the Modern Language Association, or, or MLA. I did not create this, so don't shoot the messenger. I'm just showing you how to do it. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is, so we've got our font, we've got our margins, and now we need to set up our um, spacing. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go to Layout again. And we're going to go to these three dots over here, more options, and go to paragraph options. And we're going to come back to this a couple of times. So what we need to do is line spacing is change that to double and click on don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. If you do not click on this, it'll add spaces between paragraphs. You can also just change that to zero, but this is just also another way to do that. Leave everything else alone for right now, okay? We're gonna come back to this later on, but just leave everything alone for this right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close that, okay? So now that we have all that, we can go ahead and put in the information. The first thing we're gonna put in is the person who is, the name of the person who wrote the paper, Jason Morgan, that's me. Next, I'm gonna put in the instructor. Make sure you use their title, okay? Doctor, professor, whatever, okay? Then you put in the class. And please, oh please, put in your section number because your instructor may be teaching more than one section of that class and it's helpful to know which section you're in. And then the date goes by the day, the month, and the year, okay? No commas, okay? Now, in America, often we'd see it 17, we'd see it like September 15th, comma, 2023, not MLA formatting, or, you know, 9 slash 15 slash, I don't know, whatever. This is the proper MLA way to do it. Okay, so we have that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is that we need to put in the title. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now I need to change the title. The title needs to be in the center of the page. So I'm gonna go back to the home button and go over here to the text alignment and select center, okay? Now for MLA titles, they are not in bold, they are not underlined, they're not in italics, they're not in quotation marks. But there is something funky about them. You have to capitalize any non-common words. So for matting a paper in MLA style. So notice that I capitalized formatting, paper, MLA, and style, but I didn't capitalize A and N. Why? I don't know. I didn't create MLA style. Okay, so at this point, we're going to stop here for just a second, and we're going to deal with the header. Now, the header is one of the biggest headaches when it comes to using MLA formatting in this thing. Okay, so when we click on header, okay, it's going to open up this little box. Now, we need to make sure that we are going to put in a number, okay? <laughs> so how you have to do that is that you have to then go to layout. So I just clicked, so again, let's just go back here. So I clicked on header, then it gives me this box. I'm gonna click on this box. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layout, 
Okay, you with me so far? Okay, fantastic. And then, actually, I think we're gonna hit insert. Aha, I lied, it wasn't layout, it was insert. Insert, and then page numbers. Okay, then we're gonna select page numbers, and it's gonna be in the top right-hand corner. Okay, now it'll just give that little stuff. Don't worry about it, but what you need to do is you need to type in your name, your last name, and then a space, and then you need to make sure that is the correct font. So I'm just going to left click and hold drag over that. And you'll notice that it is not the correct font. So I need to go to Times New Roman, size 12. Okay. Now, um, also make sure that it's the same across the entire document. So you want to click that. Okay. Now, when we click off of this, you're going to be like, Professor Morgan, but my header's not there. Yes, it is. It is. It's there. No, it's not. Okay, don't worry about it. We're going to come to that. You'll see. You'll be. It's going to be okay. Take a deep breath. All right, so now we're going to go on with the rest of the paper. Now, I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to put my little cursor here at the end of the um, title. I'm going to hit enter, and we need to get back to um, home here, and we're going to change this back to the left. Okay, now, again, this is where you need to pay attention. If you don't do it this way, it's going to mess you up. This top information needs to be a left aligned, but the first uh, line of each paragraph in the paper needs to be indented. Now, using this bad boy, you could just, you know, the, 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 the application, you could just hit the tab button and that would work. Uh, yeah, not so much with this one, okay? So we're gonna go again back to layout, back to our three dots, go to paragraph options, and now the indentation, we're going to change this to the first line, and it's automatically going to change that to, it's going to indent it uh, by half an inch, okay? And then we're going to hit OK. Now it's already moved the cursor over. So then I can type in, this is the first line of the first paragraph. Okay, and then I can just start typing away, like, the incredibly smart person you all are, right? You, look at you, you just, you know what you're talking about. Woo! And we're just working along. Okay, and then we finish our whatever. Put a period, then we're gonna go in. Now when I hit enter, it automatically moves it over, already indents it to the next line. So then this is the first, woo, I almost fell. First line of the second paragraph and then we'll just type some more stuff this is where i really start to get into my you know stuff where i'm really i'm going to impress whoever's reading this especially that point right there Woo! okay all righty and then okay so um really quickly i'm going to show you remember when i told you that if we didn't click that little button it's going to add extra spaces so let's see what that's going to look like so if we go here and, I, and again i'm in under layout and I click here, paragraph options, and if this is not clicked, you will see that it has extra spaces. So the spaces should all be double spaced, and when that's not clicked, the gap between here and here is too big, and same with all this. So to fix that, we just, you know, select all the text, go here, paragraph options, we just click on that, and it makes it all nice. Now, okay, for, for giggles, I'm just gonna copy this, and, yeah, okay, that's not spelled right, are you sure? Okay, I'm gonna just paste some more until we get to the second page. Okay, now you're like, still, Professor Morgan, where's my header? Okay, check it out. So what I'm gonna do now, now that I've kind of written my paper, I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, Download as a PDF, it's doing it, so then I download it, it says it's ready. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> and drag it. It's on my other screen. Let me drag it over here. Whoa, what's going on there? Okay, look, there's the header. There it is. And if we go to the second page, could it be? It could. It changes the, the number. Okay. And you'll notice that the indenting does is is there. Okay. So Fantastic, fun times. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so there you go. That is how you do it with using Microsoft 365.